Hey friends, Ash here with Sense with another fragrance review. Today I'm expecting the fragrance review not to be as long as usual, but we'll play it by ear, see how this goes. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this fragrance, Hugo Boss, Hugo Reversed, or if you wanted to, I guess you could just call it Oka. This one I bought as a tester, I cheaped out. So there's not gonna be any full presentation part of the video. I'll just show you the bottle. Then I'll break down this fragrance, let you know what I think about it, and let you know if I think Hugo Reversed is a fragrance that you should check out or not. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Like I just said, I bought this as a tester, so no box on this one to show you today. Honestly though, the box isn't all that special. It looks like this right here, and if I were you, I would probably just buy the tester if there's a big difference between price. You know, if you're gonna save 10, 15, 20 dollars in this circumstance, I think just get the tester. And this is how your bottle's gonna come. It's in that Hugo Boss canteen style. As you can see here, the lid you actually unscrew. And then it has a little cloth strap that will keep the lid from getting lost. So here's a close up of Hugo reversed. Again, just that canteen style. And there's a closer look at your lid, which again, you just unscrew. On the bottom is your sticker with your badge code. And some of you out there always request this, so here's a couple sprays for you guys. Bam, bam. So, Hugo Reversed. This fragrance I actually almost picked up from Europe when it was first released before it came out in the US. Then I thought to myself, I really shouldn't do that because typically these kind of fragrances, these Hugo Boss releases that come out in these canteen style bottles are usually heavily discounted once they hit the US. So I passed on it. I didn't pick it up from Europe and I didn't actually pick this up at all until what was it, maybe a month and a half, two months ago. One of the main reasons I did not splurge on this, other than the fact that usually these are heavily discounted, is that almost all of the Hugo Boss fragrances that come in bottles like this are okay, but they're really not very high quality. They're usually very synthetic, not very impressive. They're the kind of fragrances that a younger guy might spray on just so that he's wearing something, but it's not gonna be a fragrance that's really super attention grabbing, and again, is typically not something that's really high quality, if I'm being honest. So for those reasons, I really wasn't all that interested. And then when this came out and started to get a couple of reviews out on YouTube, uh, a couple on forums like Fragrantica, people started to hype it. People started to say, wow, this Hugo reversed, what an awesome summertime fragrance, just super refreshing, just really high quality, great bang for your buck. That got me interested in picking this one up again. And I did, like I said, I bought a tester, that way I could get it a little bit cheaper. I think I still paid in the $45 to $50 range. This is a 4.2 ounce bottle, so it's a little bit bigger than your typical 100 ml. This one is 125 milliliters. But the fragrance itself, does it warrant the hype? Is it worth 50 bucks? Let's talk about that a little bit. This fragrance only has four listed notes as a very, very simple note breakdown. As grapefruit, bergamot, vetiver, and rosemary. So that should let you know what kind of fragrance this is right away. This is on the simpler side of things. To me, it does smell like there's an unlisted musk note in the base of the fragrance that I pick up, but even with that, it's still simple. So when you first spray this one on, you're gonna get hit with a sharp citrus combo, the grapefruit and the bergamot, and the rosemary. You pick the rosemary up right away. The rosemary gives kind of an aromatic freshness along with that citrus. It is, again, simple. Uh, it's not something super unique in the opening. It's just like a fresh, sporty summer guy's fragrance. Does it smell bad? No, it doesn't smell bad. It's not something at all that you smell it and go, oh, terrible. But does it smell really unique? Does it smell really high quality? No and no. And I'll just get it out of the way right now. I feel like I overpaid. Of course, that's me judging fragrances based off of what I can pick them up at discounters for. I know that at discounters, I can pick up some really high quality fragrances for 50 bucks. And when you're talking discounter prices of designer fragrances, this one is not something that I think belongs in that discussion at that price point. Hugo Reversed is more of a $25 to $30 fragrance. As this fragrance segs from the opening into the mid, you do pick up some more of a kind of green facets, 
from the rosemary and then the sweetness from the citrus it's still there the sharpness though tones down a little bit as this dries down what you're going to pick up in the dry down from this one is that woody vetiver a little bit of the muskiness that i talked about before and then residual notes from the opening in the mid, the little bits of rosemary, and the tiny touch of sweetness that's left from the opening. Ultimately, Hugo Reverse is a fresh fragrance the whole way through, opening, mid, and dry down. Like I said before, Hugo Reversed is a simple fragrance. There's not an enormous change after the first 20 to 25 minutes or so. It's not one of those fragrances that starts somewhere and takes you somewhere completely different. This fragrance is really straightforward, as I've said a couple of times. So if you're looking for a very fresh, casual kind of fragrance for summer, especially for younger guys out there, it could be a solid pickup. For me though, it is definitely on the more boring side of things. And that's not me taking shots at the fragrance. I understand how it could be used. It's just for the price that it's going for right now versus, again, what you can pick up at discounters, uh, relatively speaking, in terms of the price. It's just kind of a hard sell for me. For whatever reason, Hugo Reversed has been hard to find since it came out in the US. It's going for, I think, $80 retail. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I think $80. Definitely, definitely don't go for it at that price. That is an easy pass, in my opinion. And like I said before, I think it's something that should be in the $25 to $30 range. If we're talking 45 50 55 dollars for this uh i'm gonna have to tell you that for me anyway it would be a definite no i reviewed i think back in 2017 hugo iced which comes in a similar bottle actually i'll just go grab it really quickly yeah this one right here and actually have a, a number of bottles uh, in this specific line of fragrances as you can see here, but I reviewed this one I did a full review and essentially I said that it's okay Actually in terms of note breakdowns this one Hugo iced is a little bit more interesting than Hugo reversed in my opinion This one has wild tea. It's got mint. Uh, I think it has bitter orange as well and like Hugo reversed Hugo iced makes use of vetiver in the base of the fragrance. Interestingly enough, this one, Hugo Iced, was met with basically zero fanfare. Nobody seemed to really care about that fragrance very much. And I think that if you put these up against each other, Hugo Iced and Hugo Reverse, Hugo Iced is actually, Hugo Iced rather, is actually a little bit better. Again, I don't think Hugo Iced is amazing, but I think that for what you're paying, it's a higher quality fragrance than Hugo Reversed is. I mean, right now you can actually pick up Hugo Iced for half the price of Hugo Reversed. Now, I do expect that in the future, Hugo Reversed is going to go down in price, uh, but as of right now, it's more expensive by a good margin than Hugo Iced. I will say though, comparing the two, that Hugo Reversed probably is the safer scent of the two, because I mean, it's not really doing anything unique. It's just a little sharp citrus, some fresh green rosemary, and then a, a safe vetiver. I mean, that really is one of the most simplistic, safe breakdowns that you could give a fragrance, and it shows. Hugo Reversed, for me, is gonna fall in line a little bit with Penguin Premium Blend, which I reviewed not too long ago, maybe a month ago, in the sense that it comes across like a cheaper smelling fragrance, but it smells pleasant. Some people have made mention of Hugo Reversed being like a, a poor man's Raja Parfums Elysium, that there are similarities between the two to where you might just pick this one up instead of Elysium. If I really stretch, I can maybe see some similarities there, but not really. Hugo Reversed is not a replacement for Elysium. It's just not. The quality difference is astronomical, which I mean, probably goes without saying. And again, I'm not trying to rag on Hugo Reversed here. It's just those are two different ball games that we're talking about here. And there are so many different nuances and other notes and other things going on in Elysium that just aren't here. I mean, we've got two citruses, some musk, some vetiver, some rosemary, that's about it. There's not too much change in Hugo Reverse. There's not too much nuance in Hugo Reverse. It's a very straightforward, safe, pleasant scent. That again comes across smelling a little bit cheap. Now let's talk really quickly about projection for Hugo Reversed. 
It has really good projection initially in the opening and through the first part of the mid. As it hits the dry down though, it does become a softer projecting fragrance. The longevity is not too bad in the five to six hour range, which for a really fresh citrus based kind of fragrance is good. As far as daytime or nighttime use, Hugo Reverse to me comes across much more as a daytime fragrance. It's not something that I think of as a nighttime fragrance or a date night fragrance, a clubbing fragrance, a formal fragrance, or anything like that. This one to me is a daytime casual wear kind of scent. Those are my general thoughts on Hugo Reversed. To me, it's an okay fragrance. Again, about like I viewed Hugo Iced, but to me, this one Hugo Iced, slightly more unique, slightly more interesting than Hugo Reversed. Both of these are fragrances that I would consider more of a like than anything else. Uh, neither one of them blows me away. Hugo Reverse to me at the price it's going for right now is overpriced. If you're interested in Hugo Reversed but you haven't picked it up yet, I suggest waiting a little bit longer. Given enough time, it should drop down below $30. Hugo Iced right now I believe is sitting in the $25 range. That's the sweet spot for this one. 25, 30 bucks, 35 on the high end, in my opinion. Anything over that and you're overpaying. At that price range though, 25 to $35 for 125 mils, you're getting a pretty good deal. At that point, you'll be getting a fresh, brisk fragrance that's gonna be good for daytime wear in warm weather, casual uses, and it could potentially pull compliments, but to me, this one is not really all that attention grabbing. For example, my wife and her friends that I've had smell this think that it's just a basic guy's fragrance. And that to me kind of sums it up. It's basic. Not terrible, but will it be forgotten in a year or two? I would say yes. So there we go, Hugo Reversed. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this fragrance. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.